I think maybe the biggest thing that we miss when we when we're always away is the family. Um, and you can try to recreate it by having friends. But yeah, it's it's really the family. Um, your extended family. I mean, of course, you know, you have your kids. That's special. But knowing and especially listening to them now, um, they know how things are happening, what their cousins are doing, and you know, that excitement keeps building up for them. So even as a parent, you feel for them. You're not alone, uh, you know, just with your kids. And uh, obviously pre preparing all those things together is different than being on your own. But uh, Alhamdulillah, it's, it's been a beautiful experience here. Uh, I've been here for one year and uh, I'm here with my family, wife and three kids. This is our third diplomatic posting. We've been to Zimbabwe was our first one and then Germany, Berlin. So yeah, this would be uh, the third time as a family we're experiencing Eid in a different country. We arrived here during the second week of Ramadan. This is our first real Muslim country, and I mean, it's Saudi Arabia, right? So we get here and we're adjusting to the heat, and, you know, and, and things are different, but, but, but you know that you're experiencing something. And Eid comes, and of course, we're still not settled, but then it dawns on you that what binds us as Muslims throughout the world is family. And you start observing around you and how all the families are gathered, whether it's a shopping mall or just walking around, but that's the beauty that brings everybody together. But then we had an amazing experience for Eid al-Adha. We met some friends and they invited us over to Suder. Uh, you know, I mean, Porban, you know, the family, and it's a small town, it's not Riyadh, Riyadh is very big, but Sudir is small, and, and so we got to see a different side of Saudi, which was beautiful. Um, but, it, but in many ways also reminds you of home, you know, when we talk about the ties that binds us as, as billions of Muslims throughout the world, again, it's the concept of family. But now we got to experience the Saudi family and everybody coming into the house, and, and what's different though, and, and we realized that even with our first Ramadan, is that life happens after Maghrib, after Iftar. For us, we're like, okay, this is, you know, I mean, we even tried going shopping and everything's closed and, and, and the kids are like, Dad, we need, and you're like, okay, wait, 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 wait. So, but you get used to that and it's a good thing, you know, because the, there's a festive and it's, it's nice, you know, it, the kids enjoy that. This Ramadan was, 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 was special and beautiful for us. And I'll tell you why. About a week before, all of us just, felt, in, in my native language, Afrikaans, we call it Ghees, it's spirit. But there was a spirit developing in Riyadh. And I don't know what it was, but all of us felt it. Something special was about to happen, right? Like we know religiously what the month of Ramadan is. And yes, we felt it at home as well, but this was different for us. Now it's our second Ramadan. And so throughout the entire build up to that, that feeling that that it's here, right? But this Eid, inshallah, will also be different for us because we'll start a few days before Eid, inshallah, go for Umrah, and then after that, for the very first time, we'll go to Medina Munora. Uh, I don't know if it's the same for the women in Saudi Arabia, but I know in South Africa, the, the Muslim women are are busy and sometimes long before Ramadan even starts. They're busy preparing for Iftar. I'm very excited about Eid because we intend to uh, go for Umrah and uh, hopefully spend Eid in Medina, inshallah. Eid is very special and it's very exciting for us, even back home. And for Eid, sometimes they start the night before to prepare dishes. Uh, and it's usually uh, like our most expensive dishes. We usually do meat dishes. So we do curries, we do biryanis. Uh, the, the dish that I've prepared for you today is called mafrao, which translates basically to madam. 
So it's uh, made out of steak and uh, like a savory rice. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult in other countries, always, because it's never easy to find your community. You'll find Muslims for sure, I mean, it's a given, but never easy to find your community. So what you look for is similarities. When we talk about family, exactly what she said now is preparing things together, you know, and how that allows you then to, to pass that down to the, through the different generations. And it makes me think now that, yes, of course, our children experience it when we do go home, but those who are permanently at home will always have those memories. Our kids, will, it will become a distant memory for them, especially our daughters. I, I realize that we're all bound together because I, anywhere I've seen it in the world is always about family. And I think it's a beautiful way to keep Rasul Sallallahu Sunnah alive because we tend to forget that he was all about family, if nothing else. 